The U.N. Human Rights Office said Israeli forces may have violated the laws of war in Gaza. Another U.N. inquiry on Wednesday said the high civilian cost amounted to, quote, extermination, unquote, of Palestinians in Gaza. Lucy Fielder from Reuters have more. The UN Rights Office issued a report examining six Israeli attacks that caused many casualties and destroyed civilian infrastructure. Spokesperson Jeremy Lawrence. Unlawful targeting, when committed as part of a widespread or systematic attack against a civilian population, may also implicate the commission of crimes against humanity. The head of the UN Commission of Inquiry, Navi Hile, said perpetrators of abuses in the conflict must be brought to account. We conclude that Israeli authorities are responsible for war crimes, crimes against humanity and violations of international humanitarian and human rights law. Lucy Fielder from Reuters. Russian President Vladimir Putin and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un met Wednesday in Pyongyang. The developments are being criticized by the U.S. and its allies who say the relationship is a threat to global peace. VOA's Bill Gallo reports. Ties have strengthened after North Korea supported Russia's invasion of Ukraine, a war that has made Putin a pariah in many other countries. They met one-on-one for two hours. Afterwards, the two men signed a treaty, pledging to come to each other's defense if attacked. Putin said the comprehensive partnership agreement signed today includes, among other things, mutual assistance in the event of aggression against one of the parties to the agreement. The signing of the mutual defense treaty surprised many observers, who view the Putin-Kim relationship as a marriage of convenience. Before leaving Pyongyang, Putin gave Kim a luxury Russian limousine, even taking him for a drive around palace grounds. Bill Gallo, VOA News, Seoul, South Korea. For additional stories 24 hours a day, visit voanews.com. This is VOA News. Since last year, hostilities between China and the Philippines have escalated in the disputed waters of the China Sea. After a scuffle on Monday, the Philippine military chief wanted wants confiscated equipment back from China. AP correspondent Charles de Ledesma reports. The Philippine military chief has demanded that China return materials seized by the Chinese Coast Guard and pay for damage in an assault that he likened to an act of piracy in the South China Sea. On Monday, Chinese personnel on board more than eight motorboats repeatedly rammed, then boarded two Filipino Navy inflatable boats. The Chinese seized the boats and damaged them with machetes, knives and hammers. They also seized eight M4 rifles, navigation equipment and other supplies and wounded a number of Filipino Navy personnel. China wanted to prevent the personnel from transferring the supplies to a Philippine territorial outpost, which is also claimed by Beijing. I'm Charles de la Vesma. A court in Russia's far eastern city of Vladivostok has convicted a visiting American soldier of stealing and making threats of murder, and it sentenced him to three years and nine months in prison. VOA's Tommy McNeil reports. Russian state news agency TASS and RIA Novosti reported Wednesday that the judge also ordered Staff Sergeant Gordon Black to pay $115 in damages. U.S. and Russian officials say Black had flown to the Pacific port city earlier this year to see his girlfriend and was arrested after she accused him of stealing from her. Black's sentencing further complicates U.S.-Russia relations, which have grown increasingly tense as the fighting in Ukraine continues. Tommy McNeil, VOA News. When Britain heads to the polls on July 4th, businessman Steve Endicott wants voters to elect what he says will be a better politician, A.I. Steve. Reuters' Olivia Zellino explains. Endicott says A.I. Steve would be an improvement from the current political climate. I think Britain will be a better place. Having politicians controlled and influence and direct contact with all their voters would mean we have better policies and policies for the people by the people. That is exactly our aim. But are Brits ready to vote for A.I. Steve? On Brighton Pier, Endicott is A.I. Steve's best canvasser. Have you ever spoken to an A.I. MP before? His company Neural Voice powers his A.I. alter ego. Holding a mobile phone out, he's encouraging residents to give the technology a try. Olivia Zellino for Reuters. Hundreds of people died during this year's Hajj pilgrimage in Saudi Arabia as the faithful faced intense high temperatures, officials said Wednesday, as people tried to claim their loved ones' bodies.
Thank you for watching. Can you do me a favor? Please leave a comment in the comment section below. That would really help. Thank you and see you again soon.